Hi, my name is Jolene van Antwerp. I'm the head of post-production at Habitat XR. And welcome to our mobile edit suite here in the Bazarito Archipelago in Mozambique. Hi, I'm Ulrico. This is a post-production video, but post-production and hardware is always interrelated, so just wanted to show everybody what we are dealing with. So we are shooting with the Insta360 Pro 2 with a Mantis VR housing. So this is a stereoscopic setup. Those who are not familiar with the Insta360 Pro 2, where have you been, firstly and secondly? Six lens camera, shooting omnidirectionally so that we've got that stereo depth. That's really what we're interested in because the more lifelike a scene is, the more immersed the person feels, the more empathy they feel, and that's what we're in the game of. So this housing is attached to an extendable carbon fiber pole. This pole is then extended to some handlebars that make it a little bit easier uh, when diving and trying to maneuver the camera. We're moving in long linear straight movements so that it's a comfortable experience. But what that means is proximity to the subject matter is always changing and that's what makes post-production really tricky for shoots like this. Yesterday we went on a dive and there was this moment that this amazing fish called a potato grouper or potato bass came very close to the camera. And now the challenge is to get that stitched accordingly so you don't feel the stitch line changing when you watch it back in VR. Let me show you what I mean. Let's play our clip back in Mystica VR. This is before adding any edge points or optical flow. We're viewing this in anaglyphic mode so we can see the stereoscopic depth indicated by the red and the blue outlines. The potato grouper is moving in between camera five and camera four. And now you can see the potato grouper's face seems to disappear quite a bit. Sometimes we can't fix it completely, but we can try our best and improve the shot. This shot is before any stereoscopic edge points or optical flow. This shot is after applying stereo edge points and optical flow to try and get a better result. Uh, you can't really tell the fish or any animal to come closer to the camera or stay away. And the nice thing about Mystica, especially with proximity change, is using keyframes during the edge points. So you can adapt according to how close the subject comes to the camera, which we can't control because, yet again, animals don't take direction. Humans do. So my process is to uh, drop it into Mystica, get an in and out point, And then what I would do is just find the moment in the behavior that the shift is happening. And then from there, I will keyframe and move the edge points accordingly. So this is a really amazing shot. That's why we're putting so much effort into doing a good stitch, especially stereo because of the depth. And also not a lot of people will go scuba diving. So for us, it is such an important mission just to make this available on VR so people can actually experience this amazing animal. Thank you for joining me and seeing my process using Mystica VR in the field. Please follow us, Habitat XR, on Facebook and social media, Instagram, check out our website, and ciao from the team in Mozambique.